Over 50 cultural groups in Enga province and neighboring provinces came together at Aipus Oval outside Wabek town to celebrate Enga province's 23rd cultural show. The annual show unites the people of Enga province. This is where cultural groups display a tiny bit of their culture in song and dance. Now time you look at Australian government, PNG power, all Nabla, all partners you come inside, all visitors you come. As part of the event, the Australian government, through the Australian High Commission in PNG, co-hosted the Sand and Back Art Exhibition with PNG Power Limited. Australian High Commissioner Bruce Davies and PNG Power Limited Acting Managing Director Caroline Blacklock officially opened the Sand and Back Art Gallery on Saturday. The gallery has the sand paintings and textile designs of Enga Province and the bark and dot paintings of the Australian's indigenous people, the Aboriginal art. History are extraordinarily important to any people. And I've learnt more about that very, very strong bond between culture and people from the time I've spent in locations like this. Enga province is diverse, but it has one common language. PNG Power supported Enga's vision to preserve culture so that Engan children can learn to preserve and appreciate their cultural values. They don't just have a bunch of politicians who want to cut ribbons, no offence, Governor, but you, we, have, <laughs> we have people here who want to get stuff done. And I think that's really important to have. Other provinces don't always have that. Over 1,000 participants and another 1,000 more spectators fill the IPUS Rugby League Oval to capacity over the weekend. Sir Peter Ipatas told his people to change their mindsets and be united for investments and development to take place. Fasinata Yama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.